All right, welcome back to my humble abode. This week I wanted to talk a little bit about supplements. Probably next to the question, how much do you bench, bro? Something like that. It's probably, man, what kind of supplements are you taking? Or uh, do you take pre-workout? Or uh, what do you take? Do you take, uh, do you take protein during your workout? You get all kinds of weird questions about supplements. For some reason, it's a big uh, topic with people that go to the gym next to, you know, the bench press, of course. But uh, anyways, I want to spend a little time this week and talk about some supplements. All right, so anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit about supplements. And it's funny because when I first started training many, many years ago, I'm trying to think, uh, what year did uh, E.T. come out? I think, uh, well, never mind, a long time ago. I was hugely anti-supplements. I uh, would argue with my friends all the time about why they shouldn't take them and why it's not good for you. But it's just the rebellious nature of my personality, I guess. Anytime there's people doing things like supplements or, or, or something like that, I just naturally want to rebel against it and, and uh, say why I don't think it's good. Even though I didn't really know what I was talking about at the time. I even went when I was in college, I even wrote a paper about uh, why creatine is bad, and uh, I wish I still had it, but uh, maybe I could find it somewhere. It would be kind of funny to read, because I take it, you know, so often now, but um, anyways, so I was largely against supplements, even whey protein, but um, when, I, when I started getting into a serious training routine, I, uh, I started taking whey protein. And um, what I discovered with whey is that it's a, an outstanding supplement. I noticed immediately I would do three a day after not ever taking whey. You know, I, I always worked out, but uh, when I started taking whey, I noticed that um, I immediately got leaner. Because I always could feel my stomach, I could feel that there was abs down there, but I was like, all right, I can't see it. And there was always a layer of fat over it. So it you know, it was like really hard to get rid of. But I noticed that when I started taking whey protein, that that kind of just gradually diminished and then it builds the muscles out and at the same time burns the fat and uh, I don't know if that works that way for everybody but I noticed that worked for me and uh, ever since I've been a huge fan of whey protein so as a supplement um, I definitely include whey protein in you know at least three uh, servings per day which is each serving is 20 grams of protein it's just a great uh, supplement especially if you're uh, training with weights and I would almost recommend it even if you aren't weight training just I haven't I haven't tried that even though I'd like to experiment with that where I didn't work out and, and took whey proteins just to see what happened but uh, anyways I definitely recommend that and um, in addition to that I take uh, regular creatine monohydrate and uh, nothing with sugar in it all it has is, is just regular creatine monohydrate and uh, one scoop, five five grams is the serving. So what I do is I take this spoon and I'll scoop a little bit out and put it in with my protein drink after a workout. I work out four days a week, so I take four servings of that per week, each one serving after a workout. And I, I never got into the loading where you take creatine, load it, and take a lot of servings and then cut back or do it before a workout, during a workout, after a workout. It's just too complicated. So. And that's exactly what it says, is the suggested use is to take it after a workout. So, that's what I did. And I really like creatine monohydrate. When I first started trying it, uh, I believe that within a couple of months, I put on 10 pounds of uh, muscle. Now, also at that time, my I was eating around 5,000 calories a day. So, I would say, now I eat about 3,500, but a lot more leaner than I used to be. So, I would say that it's, you know, somewhere between five and seven pounds, somewhere around there. I would say that it adds five to seven pounds of solid muscle over, you know, the course of several months of using it and training. Which basically what I'm saying is if I cut it out, I believe that I would drop five pounds or seven pounds within a, a few months. But uh, I never got into the pre-workouts or uh, anything like that. There's a funny story of when I first started training uh, when I was younger, teenager I think, and uh, I, uh, someone gave me this supplement called Ripped Fuel, and it's like, it's like alfalfa 
these huge pills. It's really, really disgusting. It's like, it looks like alfalfa. I don't know if it is alfalfa. But anyways, I took, I took some of it and I went and worked out. I'm like, all right, I don't really notice anything different. It's just something's not right here. So then I'm driving home and I started to get really amped and like, I'm like listening to music going crazy. Like, I'm just so pumped. I don't know what to do. So, and then I couldn't sleep all that night. Felt like crap the next day. And uh, so for some reason, the, the pre-workout hit me like four hours later. But ever since then, I just I just stayed away from it, just because I don't want I don't want the up, ups and downs. I just want to be able to to go in and you know I drink coffee, so uh, I drink a lot of coffee, and uh, I always drink coffee before I work out. But you know other, other than that, that doesn't really do a whole lot. But other than that, I, I never really got into the uh, stimulants or the uh, the pre workouts or the the post workouts or anything of like that. So the only supplements I take right now is whey protein and then creatine monohydrate after workout. And then I'll show you my vitamin supplements. The last supplement that I include in my daily routine is definitely vitamins. And um, I, for several years when I trained, I did not take vitamin supplements. I only, I thought that I would get enough out of the food I was eating or the drinks, things like that. Or maybe just too lazy to go buy the vitamins. But once I started taking them, I immediately noticed that I recovered better. Uh, things healed faster. I generally felt better. And um, ever since then, I've been a huge fan of vitamins. And not necessarily multivitamins. I never really t took a multivitamin. But my, my belief is that it's too much at one time for the body to digest and absorb all that. Plus, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to it, so I like to buy individual vitamins and uh, spread them out throughout the day. Kind of do some research on them, and I have this in my diet plan uh, on when I think I should take vitamins in what quantities and when. So I kind of spread them out throughout the day. So um, I usually eat six to seven times a day. So what I'll do is, uh, you know, allocate a certain amount of vitamins uh, per each meal. And uh, I've been doing that for a while, and I, I really enjoy it. And um, I've generally felt better once I started doing that. But this is, this is a tackle box here that I bought at Walmart. It is uh, for fishing, but I use it for vitamins, and uh, I love it. So I use, uh, this is vitamin C here. This is vitamin D. Vitamin E up here at the top. Vitamin B here. And then this is vitamin A. And uh, vitamin K here. So these are the vitamins that I take. And, um... Uh, you know, I spread them out throughout the day, and most of these you can't really take too much of. But vitamin A, you're only supposed to take, um, I'm not sure exactly how much, but you're not supposed to take that more than once a day. So, other than that, I kind of spread them out, and uh, that's in my diet plan. And I always keep, like, uh, up here in my cabin, cabinet, I always keep, like, uh, you know, an ample supply, we'll call it that. Because uh, the worst thing is when you run out and you're like, crap. Because you feel like, you know, bad things are going to happen, even though that's not, <laughs> not necessarily going to happen. But um, anyways, uh, that's what I have for uh, supplements, and uh, I'll see you next week. Thank you.